Hey everyone, uh, my name is Calvin and I'm going to show you how you can make your own brushes for Mandala Creator Pro. So after you've downloaded the folder for uh, Mandala Pattern Creator, go to File once you've launched Illustrator and go to Open. And then navigate to wherever it is that you downloaded and unzipped Mandala Pattern Creator. And uh, inside you'll see a couple different things. Uh, that's the template, those are the action scripts, and that's the README. So open up the template. It looks just like this. Um, and then we're, we will also need to open the action script. So go to Window, Action. If you see anything here, I recommend that you clear those actions. Uh, and then go to Load Actions. And then right back to where you unzip that folder, those ones right there. Just three actions here. This one reflects and joins uh, any, any line you draw over the center line. Uh, this adds a center line, I'll explain that, and that adds a counterweight, I'll explain that one later. So um, also, it might be a good idea to open up Mandala Creator too. So let's do open, navigate to wherever you have Mandala Creator, and then open that template, just like that. So when you make a brush, it's really important that it's uh, 275 pixels wide exactly. So in order to make sure we make the brush uh, properly, we gotta change two settings. So go to File, uh, actually go to Edit, Preferences, and then up to General. And make sure that um, this right here, Use Preview Bounds, is checked. It needs to be checked. And then go to Window, Align, and then in your Align panel, go to the Options here. Uh, make sure it says Show Options. So you can see this part down here. And then set the align to align to artboard. It, it, it can't be set like this. It needs to be set to align to artboard. So let me first explain the uh, reflect and join script. It's pretty easy. I'll just use the pen tool here if I can find it. There it is. And uh, we'll just draw a simple shape, just like that. Well, actually, uh, if you ever use this template and you try to draw something but it doesn't work, you need to make sure that the uh, working layer is highlighted because there's three layers in this document make sure that you've got the middle one selected and then you'll be able to draw so what you can do is just draw a simple shape with the pen tool that crosses over the center line and then back again and it doesn't accidentally go outside keep it on the artboard and then when you use this reflect and join script what it does is it will click quickly um, Reflect it and then join those two shapes together into one shape, just like you've put it up against a mirror. Uh, and this is helpful for making symmetrical brushes. So let me hook up my pen tablet real quick here and I can uh, start with a nice example brush. Okay, I've got my pen tablet hooked up. I'll select the pencil tool and uh, we'll do something simple. How about like... That's all right. And uh, there's a nice tool that Illustrator has. It's called the Warp Tool. And that's handy for smoothing out some of these lines. If they have too many points and they're kind of jagged, this can sometimes help. So I'm happy with that shape. I'll select it, use this Reflect and Join tool. And uh, there's basically two kinds of brushes that you'll be making. And one of them is where... Uh, there's a center line, like in this case, I'll use the add center line. It just places a line in the middle uh, where there's a line and then your design starts. And then there's also another kind of brush uh, that you'll have when, um, when the edge goes all the way to the edge of the artboard. So the whole design is 275 pixels wide. And that's why actually it's important uh, to use this um, preferences option here. That's why it's important to make sure that this is selected because that means um, the edge of the preview when it, you know, so it can snap to the edge uh, that's, it won't be on the center of the stroke. It's going to be all the way on the edge. I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom in. Right, so ordinarily the shape will have the preview bound that's lined up with the stroke. When you have that setting checked, it sets it up with the outside and that's important because we need the brushes, stroke, and everything to be no wider than 275 pixels. If it's even one more pixel wider, uh, it won't work properly. 
And uh, this shape I'm happy with. We're gonna make a brush using the center line, okay? So let's delete that again. Uh, we'll size this brush so that it fits in here like this. We'll use the align tool so it lines up in the center. It's always important that your brush is aligned vertically. It can't be like this because otherwise when it displays, it's gonna automatically center on the mandala and you're gonna have a, a white line somewhere above or below. So that's nice. Center it. I'd like it to show up a little higher than the center. So in this case, I'll add a counterweight. Uh, and what that is, is it's just another shape. Because see, when I press a line to center, it drops it down. So I'm going to group it with this shape so that it doesn't drop down so much. But I want it to be the same distance from the top. So I think just like that. So I'll group those. These are grouped now. And then when I use this align to center, it only moves a little bit. Still a little bit more. I want to move it less than that. So I'll lower it. There, that's better. Okay. And then add my center line so that now when I've selected all of this, I can check the transform panel and it's 275 pixels wide. So this would be a brush that's ready to go right now. If you want this little circle to be invisible, you just select it and then uh, make sure it has no fill and no stroke. That way you can't see it. So I've selected everything, I'll group it. And then uh, I've made it, made it pretty easy here to make the brushes. Just go to Window and then Brushes. Now you see all these blue shapes? These are brushes that have already been prepared. They're just blank. I just put a blue square in them. So um, if, you want make, if you want to make more of these, you can just select them and then duplicate them. And it'll give you another copy. But uh, just select the brush that you've made that's grouped and uh, drag it while holding the Alt. So you get that double arrow and you can drop it right on those blue squares just like that. Okay, there it is. So that, now you've just made a new brush for Mandala Creator and the, the way you can get that over to Mandala Creator, your working document, is that just make a small circle and give it a black stroke just like this and then select your brush. Okay, now your brush has been applied to that circle. I'm gonna copy this, go over to Mandala Creator and paste it in, right? And when I paste this circle, it also pastes in the brush. So your brush will automatically appear at the very bottom of the Mandala Creator brush selection. So we don't need that anymore. And uh, we can test out our brush. We just gotta go to this little menu here, switch it out of button mode. We'll clear these actions, we don't need them anymore. And then we'll do load actions and go over to the uh, mandala creator ones. We'll do the eight pointed mandala. There we go, and button mode again. And start a new mandala and then we can test out our brush. Just scroll to the bottom and then select it. There it is, that's the brush we just made. So that's, that's an easy way to make a brush using the center line method. And now, if I uh, accidentally made a brush that didn't center, like if I ungroup it and I just select this shape here, and I click, uh, let's make it out of center, let's do it up here like this, right? So this is a, a non-centered brush. So when it's grouped and I select it and I press the vertical line tool, it, it moves down, okay? So it's not centered. I'll make it into a new brush here holding alt. So remember, this is our bad brush. Select it. I'll copy it and then paste it into here. And now that's the bad brush that's out of center. So if I select our mandala center again and use the brush that's not centered, this kind of a weird thing happens. Right? See there's a the black outline is occurring within the mandala ring. So we've got this sort of floating white boundary out there. And you'll notice that when you duplicate it, and then you rotate your ring here. See, look what's happening, is it's getting cut. You see that? So just make sure that your mandala patterns are, are centered. So that when they're all finished, and you use this align tool, it doesn't move. This black line stays there, okay? So let's make a new brush. Let's make one that goes all the way to the edge. Okay, so we'll just do something simple. I'll use the um, pen tool here, actually. So let's do 
Okay, I'll nudge that one over so it's crossing the center line. You need to have both the beginning and the end of your line crossing this center line. Now after you're happy with it, just select it and then um, let's get the old tools back. We'll clear these. Load actions. Yeah, just load the pattern tools again. Remember these three. Just uh, select your line and then reflect it. like that and uh, we will go to the transform panel and make sure it's linked this little thing is uh, highlighted so that it'll change when we change the width it'll also change the height it's called the constraint so I'll double click that and type in 275 that's the width that we want centered it and you'll notice it centered the st it, it, it incorporated the stroke width into that uh, transformation because uh, we went to the settings and preferences and changed it so that it looks at the actual preview boundary, not the actual shape boundary. So that's really important because if it went over the edge, even one pixel that includes the stroke width, then this brush wouldn't work. So in this case, it's exactly 270 pixels wide. So if you wanted your brush to occur up here, you'd have to balance it out with a counterweight down here and group it with that shape. But uh, in this case, this one looks fine, just how it is. So we will uh, drag it while holding Alt into our brush panel here. OK. That's our new brush. We'll make a small circle. Select our brush. We'll copy it now. And then uh, delete this stuff, paste it in. There, that's the brush we just made. And it's showing up at the bottom now, just like that. And uh, we can test it out. We will uh, clear these. Load actions, and then we'll load the mandala ones. Yeah, just like that. Start new mandala. Scroll to the bottom, and there it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Uh, just make sure that when you're all done, he'll go to Preferences, General, and then uncheck that box. Make sure it's unchecked so that it doesn't mess you up later on. And uh, I hope that's a pretty good explanation. If you guys have any questions, just send me a message. Other than that, thanks for watching.